Hello friends, come with me on my Umrah journey. To perform Umrah, one is required to be in the state of Ihram. For men, you have to wear an unstitched sheet of white cloth and women wear their normal clothes. To prepare for Ihram, I cut my nails, removed unwanted body hair and then took a shower with the intention of entering Ihram. Then I combed and secured my hair so no hair peeked out of my Ihram. To hide my hair further, I am using an undercap and then I wore my ihram over it. If in ihram even a bit of my hair is exposed, then it will be necessary to sacrifice a goat in Makkah. So I am being extra cautious. I am wearing my glasses outside my ihram so there is no chance of my hair being exposed. And I am wearing an acrylic lanyard to secure my glasses from falling. Now I'm going outside my hotel to look for a taxi to go to Masjid Aisha. Right now I'm walking in the opposite direction of Kaaba or Masjid Al Haram. There are some rules or prohibitions of ihram. Once a Muslim is in state of ihram, we have to be cautious that any hair on our body doesn't break or fall off from any sort of bush or pull. We cannot shave or cut our hair or nails. One should avoid perfume and anything with fragrance in it. One shouldn't be hunting or harming any living being. One should refrain from any sort of sexual activity, unjust dispute and committing any sort of sin. Men cannot wear stitched clothes or cover their heads. And women should not be covering their faces or hands. I have a foot injury. I hope that I'm able to perform umrah. Inshallah, I'm also very sick right now, but uh, my period state is really near. I might be getting periods any second, so I had to complete this Umrah. So uh, let's hope I'm able to do my second Umrah. My lanyard just fell. I have to secure my glasses as soon as I sit somewhere. Labbaik Allahumma labbaik. So this is the bus that is taking people to Masjid Aisha. This is the cab that we booked for Masjid Aisha. Usually they charged 20 Saudi Riyals for two people. But we were charged 30 Saudi Riyals. I am literally sitting at the front. And now we are going to Masjid Aisha. And uh, yeah, they charged us 10 Saudi Riyals more. But it should be around 10 Saudi Riyals on a cab which is being shared. So remember if you guys are going for Umrah. Labbaik Allahumma labbaik Labbaik la sharika laka labbaik Inna alhamda wa ni'mata laka wal mulk la sharika laka Labbaik Allahumma labbaik لبيك لا شريك لك لبيك إن الحمد والنعمة لك والملك لا شريك لك لبيك اللهم لبيك لبيك لا شريك لك So here we are reaching Masjid Aisha Alhamdulillah لك والملك لا شريك لك لبيك اللهم لبيك لبيك لا شريك لك There were so many pigeons here so I bought some of the pigeon food from the vendor there and I just gave it to the pigeons it was for 5 Saudi riyals لبيك اللهم لبيك now I am inside Masjid Aisha and I will be reciting two Salah Al-Ihram, two rakats of Salah Al-Ihram and two rakats of Salah of Mosque and my first rakat will include Surah Kafirun and the second rakat will include Surah Ikhlas for both the Salahs. لا شريك لك لبيك اللهم لبيك 
So I am done with two rakat of mosque and two rakat namaz or salat of uh, umrah and uh, salal ihram, which it is called. After that, uh, I am going to do my niya, which is Allahumma inni uridul umrata fayasir haliwa takabal haminni. Now I will raise my hands and then I have to say, Labaika umratan la raya fiha wala sum'ah. So after that, I will be uh, saying labbaik Allahumma labbaik, labbaik la sharika laka labbaik innal hamda wa ni'mata laka wal mulk la sharika lak. I will be reciting this until I will reach uh, Masjid al-Haram or Kaaba and I will be reciting this in between my Umrah as well. I forgot to tell you guys that I paid around 30 Saudi Riyals for me and my mother. Uh, for coming here to Aisha Masjid and then they will be dropping us to uh, King Fahad Gate so they uh, so they charged us around 30 Saudi Riyals for this <laughs> لبيك اللهم لبيك لبيك لا شريك لك لبيك إن الحمد والنعمة لك والملك لا شريك لك لبيك اللهم لبيك لبيك لا شريك لك لبيك إن الحمد والنعمة لك والملك لا شريك لك لبيك اللهم لبيك لبيك لا شريك لك لبيك إن الحمد والنعمة لك والملك لا شريك لك لبيك اللهم لبيك لبيك لا شريك لك لبيك إن الحمد والنعمة لك والملك لا شريك لك لبيك اللهم لبيك لبيك لا شريك لك لبيك إن الحمد والنعمة لك والملك لا شريك لك لبيك الله. This year the Umrah is so difficult. Oh my God! Just look at this. Like I have to just go back and forth so much just to get to the gate, which is right in front of me. The entrance right in front of me, and I can't go because they have closed so many entries. I will be entering the gate now and I will be saying my prayers. When I will be entering the mosque, I will enter the Masjid al-Haram or the mosque with my front, the right uh, foot at the front and then I will enter it with my eyes on the floor uh, instead uh, of the Kaaba and there is this prayer of uh, entering the mosque. Bismillahi walhamdulillahi wa salatu ala rasulillah Allahumma ghfirli zunubi wa ftali abwaba rahmatika Labbaik Allahumma labbaik Labbaik la shari Now I'm going to recite two rakat namaz of mosque over here Laka wal mulk la sharika lak Labbaik Allahumma labbaik uh, with Surah Kafirun in the first uh, rakat and Surah Ikhlas in the second rakat. Done with my two rakat and now I will be going towards Kaaba. And Allah, I seek protection from kufr and torture of grave and narrowness of heart. Ameen. لبيك اللهم لبيك لبيك لا شريك لك لبيك إن الحمد 
So I will be then uh, going towards Hajr e Asbad after the prayer. While I will be approaching Hajr e Asbad, I will raise hands in supplication and I will say Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, La ilaha illa Allahu, was salatu was salamu ala Rasulullah. Then I will do my tawaf niya. O oh Allah, I intend to perform the tawaf of Umrah of the Kaaba for your sake and your sake alone. Please accept it from me and make it easy for me. After my niya, I will raise my hands towards Hajr e Aswad and then I will recite Bismillahi Allahu Akbar Wala ilaha hamd once for each of the seven circles of tawaf. Once the first circle has started after reciting this ayat, you can recite whatever you want to recite. You can recite talbiya or whatever you want. But they say that if you recite third kalma, then it has more importance or more virtue. Third kalma is as this goes. Subhanallahi walhamdulillahi wala ilaha illa huwa akbar wala hawla wala quwwata illa billah hil ali al azim labbaik allahumma labbaik when we reach rukn e yamni which is the uncovered corner of kaaba and the point or corner before hajr e aswad aka black stone they say that we are supposed to say this dua from rukn e yamni to hajr e aswad kind of pointing towards rukne yamni for sunnah and the dua is rabbana ataina fid dunya hasanatan wa fil akhirati hasanatan wa qina adaban nar when i will reach hajr e aswad from rukne yamni my first circle will be completed then i will repeat step 10 to step 12 all over again from reciting bismillahi allahu akbar wala ilaha illa hamd for the first circle with my palm towards hajr e aswad to reciting third kalma in my circle and then from rukn e yamni to hajr e aswad me reciting rabbana ataina fid dunya hasanatan wa fil akhirati hasanatan wa qina adaban nar if during your tawaf you cannot see hajr e aswad to start it you can always see the green light which is opposite to hajr e aswad to start your tawaf After performing seven circuits of tawaf we are supposed to perform two rakats of tawaf behind maqam Ibrahim and pray as you can see that maqam Ibrahim is on my back side and I am walking in the opposite direction to perform my two rakats of tawaf behind maqam Ibrahim this rakat is same like salat al-ihram where the first rakat includes surah kafirun and second rakat includes surah ikhlas After the salah is completed we are supposed to pray after praying we drink ab zamzam and head towards sai sharika lak labbaik allahumma labbaik labbaik la sharika lak labbaik now i'm going to perform sai after drinking zamzam at sai there are two mountains One is Mount Safa and the other is Mount Marwa. We are supposed to walk between these two mountains. Same like Tawaf, we have to complete seven circuits here as well. So, when we walk from Safa towards Marwa, when we reach Marwa, our first circuit is completed. When we walk towards Safa from Marwa and when we reach Safa, our second circuit is completed and that's how we complete our seven circuits and we end up at mount marwa so let's get back to the business aikala sharika laka labbaik innal hamda this is where safa starts to start the say we raise our hands at mount safa and we pray Inna as-safa wal marwa da min sha'ir Allah abada an bima bada Allah bi After that we do sa'is niya and the niya uh, should be like that oh Allah I intend to walk in the seven circuits 
of Safa and Marwa. Please make this easier for me and please accept my Umrah or say Ameen. After our Nia is done, we face towards Kaaba at Mount Safa and we recite Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar thrice. And then we are supposed to pray for ourselves. There is this little prayer that our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to do. Now this is Sunnah, this is not necessary. Our Prophet used to say this dua in the start, middle and in the end of his dua. And this dua is La ilaha illallah wahtahu la sharika lahul mulku wa lahul hamdu wa huwa ala kulli shay'in kadir. La ilaha illallah wahtahu anjaza wa'da wa nasara abda wa hazma al ahzaba wahda. After we are done praying for ourselves, then we start walking towards Marwa and do Zikr. You can say whatever you want to pray. And then remember that we have to run between the green marks. When we see the green pillars, we have to walk a bit fast. Men are supposed to uh, walk a little bit faster or, you know, kind of jog in between these green pillars. Women can normally walk. Uh, or they can walk a bit fast and you can still pray whatever you want but if you still want some dua you can recite rabbik fir warham innaka anta a'uzul akram innal hamda wan ni'mata lak wal mulk la sharika lak and then when we reach mount marwa after walking then our first circuit is completed then we again repeat these steps. I have seen people uh, reciting Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar thrice at Mount Marwa and then walking towards Mount Safa for the second circuit. And then again we do zikr when the green circuits come. We are supposed to walk a little bit faster and then when we reach Mount Safa our second circuit is completed. So that's how we complete our seven circuits. There are only 20 minutes left in a Zohar prayer and uh, my injury has started to hurt a lot. I hope that I'm able to finish my say uh, before Azan, otherwise it's going to be prolonged. So let's see, I've only completed my first circle. So let's see. Two rounds done. Allah Once our seventh say or seventh circuit is completed, we pray. Men are supposed to shave their head, women cut their hair, and that's how we remove our ihram or we escape the state of ihram. Before that, we cannot remove our ihram, but once we have cut our hair, we can now remove our ihram. Just go home, take a shower, and your umrah is done. Alhamdulillah. So now I'm just resting a bit and then I will go to my hotel because it's around 700 to 750 meters away from Haram and that's a lot. So I will just take a rest for like two minutes maybe or three minutes and then I'll, then I'll head towards my hotel. I have to buy food while I go there. Because 
my brother would be hungry to be honest i've worked so much and i'm in so much pain that i don't think so that i'm going to eat anything it has been almost five hours ever since i was done with my umrah but i'm running a fever now it's probably around 101 I'm just praying to Allah that I may I reach my hotel and I just crash on bed because I came out and went to the harem again uh, to fill water bottle with up something so that's the update and I hope that I get well soon because I want to perform Umrah if possible one more room run. I just found the Quran in Chinese here. Mamba'ul Isafa, Sayyidul Ambiya, Mishra'lun Fil Wafa, Kana Fi Atfihi, Liliyata Madifa, Mustafa, Mustafa, Mamba'ul Isafa, Sayyidul Ambiya, Mishra'lun so after Isha, I was running 104.4 temperature and I got extremely sick and no medicine was working. So I had to get Saudi medicine and it cost me around 130 Saudi reals. And I got these three medicines and I'll keep you updated how did these work. I'll see you guys next time. I'm very sick. Bye. I love this.